Hi guys, I'm so excited to be back filming. I'm sorry it's been so long. Work has been so crazy with Christmas, but I am just going to be doing something super easy, kind of fall inspired. So if you want to see how I got this, just keep watching. Love you. So to prep my face, I am going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. And I'm just going to place this on my um, kind of red areas on my face. So um, next to my nose, on my cheeks, and then all my eyelids to use as an eyeshadow primer. That's my favorite way of doing it. Um, I think it helps the eyeshadow stick really well. And then to blend it out, I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender. Um, my first shade I'm going to use on my eyes is MAC Brulee. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid and up to the brow bone to set the concealer. That way my eyeshadows will blend really well. For my crease color, I'm going to use Saddle by MAC. And I am going to use kind of a tapered brush. That way I can really get into that crease. And I'm just going to work that in there. I'm also going to kind of put it in the outer V area and a little bit in my inner tear duct area as well. Just to create, kind of create that, um, that more rounded out shape. And when I do this, I go back and forth between using this brush with product on it and then also a um, clean blending brush like I am here. Just going back and making sure I'm really blended out. And then to kind of warm up the um, crease, I'm going to place a little bit of MAC Rule. That's just going to really warm up the look and make this more fall appropriate, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of MAC Mystery in the outer edge just to deepen up the look. I don't usually go in with like harsh colors like black or anything, but I like this color just to kind of darken up the outer area to give the eye a little bit more dimension. And then of course I'm going to go back and blend the rest of it out. I'm going to use a little bit more of that brulee also with my fingertip on this very center of my lid to kind of highlight that area. Once we put liner and mascara on, this will make a lot more sense too. I'm going to also clean up. Um, you could use tape if you don't, if you want to, but I'm just going to use a Q-tip with a little makeup remover to clean up my edges before I go in with Makeup Geek Eyeliner. And I'm going to use an angled brush to tight line. Um, I always like to do this before I put on eyeliner because it helps fill in the gaps between the lashes. So it makes it look a lot more seamless. I also like to tight line because I think it gives the lashes a lot more of a full appearance. It makes them look a lot thicker just because there is no um, skin gap in the mascara. So even if I don't use eyeliner um, on a certain day, I will always try to tight line whether it's with um, gel liner like I did just now or even just with a pencil liner. It just makes it look so much um, thicker and fuller. So especially if you have really wimpy lashes, it really helps. But I am just doing my winged eyeliner like I regularly do. This is the easiest way for me. Um, just kind of stamping it down and then connecting it all out makes it so much easier. Once that is complete, I did do my foundation and under eye concealer off camera. I'm sorry. But just save time. And um, here I'm just setting my under eye with banana powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I did use... Um, I use L'Oreal True Match Foundation in W3 and NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with MAC um, Prep and Prime Translucent Setting Powder because I always have to set my face. And then I'm even going to go back in with a dry beauty blender and a little bit extra translucent powder. I find that this really helps um, kind of keep the makeup in my easily kind of separated area from separating too much. So I really like that trick. Once I am done with that, though, I am going to go and do my under eye eyeshadow. That sounds so weird. <laughs> but I am just putting saddle on the lower lash line. And then once I get that all stamped down, I'm going to smoke it out a little bit with a blending brush. And then I will also go back with a little bit of that mystery color and darken out the edges as well. To highlight the inner um, corners and under my brow, 
trombone. I am using the shade Nylon. This is such a pretty inner tear, inner tear duct. Is that the right way to say it? Whatever. <laughs> the inner corner and under the brow bone. It's just so pretty. And now to set my brows. I know I did them off camera, but I just did them just like I did in my um, brow routine video I posted a while back. So you can go there if you'd like to see how I did that. Um, and then I am going to start contouring. I'm using the Fawn and Java color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, which if you don't own, you need to purchase it. It was the best thing I've ever bought. It's only $40 and you get all that stuff in there. So, I mean, you really can't beat it. And I'm going to put this in all the sculpt places, you know, on the cheekbone, on the temples, on the side of the nose, um, you know, all that stuff. And then I'm going to blend it out with a stippling brush. For blush, I am going to use my beloved MAC Warm Soul Blush. I just love this color. It's just, it's perfect color for fall. It's perfect for summer, at least for me. And I just love it so much. You need to pick it up. And then after I put that on, of course, I'm going to go back and blend it out a little bit more because nobody likes harsh edges. It's just not cool. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use my favorite Becca Opal highlighter. It's just so gorgeous. Try to find my setting spray. <laughs> I'm going to use the Urban Decay D Slick just to set all my makeup in place because that's essential for me. And I am going to do my mascara off camera again to save time and also because my battery was dying. Uh oh. And now we can move on from mascara on to lipstick. I am using. Jordana Tawny Lip Liner, and I love these lip liners. If you have not tried them, you need to go to your local Walgreens and pick them up. They're super cheap and super awesome. Um, I'm going to throw on a little lip balm, and then I'm going to use my new favorite lipstick. This is Anna by NARS, and I am obsessed with it. I've never spent this much money on a lipstick, but I'm so glad I did. You need it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this so much. I appreciate you guys coming and watching. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, bye guys.